250 years after the first match at Broadhapney Down, cricket fans are still drinking it in. Cheers. Today, a Hampshire All-Star 11 took on an England select team to honour the story of its past. This is an extraordinary place. Uh, 250 years is a legacy that no other cricket ground or pavilion can boast, so, you know, why not celebrate it? The beauty of this hilltop location hasn't changed, even if the centuries have. In 1772, it was market day in Hambledon when a two-day game began. The finest players in Hampshire against an all-England 11 formed of players from Surrey and Kent, only this time for a 500-guinea prize. Broad Hapney Downs saw a rural pastime played on these fields behind me since 1750. And it wasn't long before word got around and it became the centre of the new cricketing world. A set of organised laws were drawn up and the international sport that we know today was born. It was nurtured and some of the key um, laws were put in place as a result of games up here, like the third stump, for example, was added after they kept on rolling the ball between the other two. And that's what we're trying to do with our trust, is to ensure that as many people get the opportunity to play on this famous ground and recognise that there is a jewel in the crown in Hampshire that is the cradle of cricket. And it's just a wonderful place and strange to think how long ago they were playing cricket and it's still going on and still kind of playing the same manner. Obviously games changed a little bit since then, but um, no, it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, like I said, hope we have a really good day. When the Marleybone Cricket Club in London assumed authority for the laws, time caught up with this pivotal pitch in Hampshire as it lay fallow for 125 years. Until 1908, when a match including England great C.B. Fry and G.L. Jessup marked the unveiling of a memorial stone and cricket returned home. I didn't know some of that, so yeah, you, you really do feel part, you're part of a historic day here and yeah, delighted to be here and hopefully we can uh, put on a game that's fitting for, for this occasion. Cricket is now played regularly here by Hambledon Cricket Club, which seems fitting given they'd shared the gift of their sport with the world. But the long walk home remains just that. Some things never change. <laughs>